is magic sand. Magic sand that we have carefully gathered from magical places all over the world. You can touch it, you can put your hands in it at any time, you can feel it. Don't have to wait for us to tell you. Through this sand we can experience the magic behind the places we're visiting. Maybe we'll learn something along the way. But first I need to know where we're going. I'm going to give us three choices today. We can go to Alaska, we can go to Hawaii, or we could go to the Bahamas. Now I'll tell you, we just went to Alaska. And I see someone very, I hear some very passionate campaigning for a trip to the Bahamas. And you know, you don't have to twist my arm to go to the Bahamas, guys. I love it there. Let's say we're there right now. We're on a Disney cruise, we're chilling out on the beach. We're seeing all kinds of beautiful wildlife, and we go snorkeling and we come across a leatherback sea turtle. Well, later on that night, we might gather around the sandbox to learn more about this fascinating animal, right? But first, I need your help. I need everyone to go ahead and just dig a little small hole in the sand in front of you. Just a little hole is all we need. And then we're going to put something special inside each of these holes that you've dug. You know what that is? That is a turtle egg. It's a beautiful turtle egg. It actually glows in the moonlight like a beautiful pearl. Isn't that neat? Now in a moment, we're going to bury those eggs, but we're going to do it together. We're going to do it as a group on the count of three, okay? Very gently. Are you ready? One, two, three. Bury those eggs. Good job. Now watch the spot where you, where you buried those eggs. I'm pushing the clock forward eight weeks now. I hope you picked a good spot. That's so cool. Now, when baby turtles hatch, their first instinct is to move directly towards the water unless they happen to get distracted. For example, we know that baby turtles are always going to head for the brightest light on the horizon. And you're going to see, you pass that lantern around, that they will always move in the direction of that light. Well, that's actually not a good thing, right? Because that's just confusing them. It's moving them farther away from the water. So guys, what can we do to help these baby turtles get to their home in the ocean? Does anyone want to guess? Throw them in. That's right. We can dim the lights. If we dim the lights on beaches near the nesting grounds, then they don't get confused. They know exactly where to go. Good job, everyone. Our baby turtles are on their way. Yay, turtles! Now, once they make it out of the ocean, they settle into beds of floating seaweed where they find camouflage and food. And this is called the lost year of the turtle. They spend their time during this year growing and getting stronger. Now, once they've made it through this phase, they're ready to venture out to other parts of the ocean. So everyone, let's all wave goodbye to the baby turtles. Bye, guys. Now, while we're waiting for them to come back, let's spend some time playing in the sand. So just follow the directions from your table leaders. And while you're doing that, I'll tell you. But sea turtles are an endangered species. It's up to us to do all we can to help those turtles thrive. If we do our part, we keep those lights away from their nesting grounds, for example, they stand a much better chance of surviving to adulthood, where they might wind up looking something like this. Hey! Good wow. job, everyone. You nurtured your turtle to adulthood. Give yourselves a round of applause. I'm so proud of you. But uh, before you go, hey, could you help us get the sand nice and flat for our next group? I'd really appreciate it. I want to say thank you to everyone from the Storyteller Sandbox. That's new technology. We got some bugs to work out. Oh, no. We got a lot of bugs to work out, I guess. But that's okay. They're all very friendly. And they won't be visiting you in your nightmares, I promise you. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. And while you're leaving, be sure to get your complimentary tea.